Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a good fish. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I do appreciate it. And you clicked on this video because you wanna learn a little bit about streamer fishing. Now there's a, there's a ton to know, right? So I'm gonna try to really boil it down to the basics. Be sure to stick to the end of the video as well because I'm gonna give you the number one reason why you need to fish streamers, period. So what are streamers? Streamers imitate a lot of times bait fish, right? So fish that are predatory are either gonna eat these smaller fish or they might get pissed off that somebody else is in their turf and strike at it. So it could be those two reasons why they might eat a streamer, but streamers can be super, super effective. Now there are a ton of different streamers out there and a lot of them are tied for the fishermen, right? Because they look good, they look fishy, so you buy them. But really what I found that there's a handful of streamers that work on a consistent basis, either for trout or for brown trout. And generally they're a natural color, right? Olive, green, tan, white, yellow sometimes could be super effective, but I try to stay away from some of the other crazy stuff that's out there in streamers just because, I don't know, I, I really do believe that they are tied more for the fishermen. You might be able to catch a fish on one of those really brightly colored crazy streamers, but I, I stick to these few types of streamers like the sculpin pattern from Red's Flies because they're just effective and they consistently catch fish. So don't get too enamored by all the colors that you find when you do see a streamer. Stick to some of the natural colors and you'll have a lot more luck. So how do you fish a streamer? There are a couple ways you can fish a streamer. One is that you just cast it across the river and you let it swing back around. You always wanna fish it back in when you're doing something like that. And you wanna also continue to mend your line so that you have a straight line to the fly. Too big of a bend in the line, it's gonna be a lot harder to set the hook on a fish and keep them on because you're creating a lot of slack. So be sure you're doing a lot of mending. Also, walk the fly out. Don't cast all the way across the river. Cast short, walk it out, and then just keep covering the entire river. You'll find that you'll have a lot more success if you do that. Sometimes I just let it swing and let the marabou just, you know, wave, in the, wave inside the water and just all that action that's happening, especially with these articulated flies, or I'll put a little strip action on. And don't be afraid to vary your stripping as well, right? Let it come down. Maybe it's a little bit of a, a wiggle that you're putting on the fly. Maybe you're stripping it in and stopping and stripping it in. Maybe it's a long strip. The point is you wanna put a lot of variation on this fly. Movement is king when fishing streamers. You just don't wanna have just a quiet swing without any real action on it. You might catch a fish, but you're gonna be far more likely if you're putting some movement, right? Cause these are small bait fish that are skittish and wanna swim away if a big fish is coming at them. So you do wanna put a little action on it. Swinging is one way. I love casting upstream. The upstream cast can be so effective when fishing streamers. So be sure to swing it and also do the upstream cast because sometimes you'll catch a fish even though you've been swinging a hole for an hour, you do an upstream cast and that variation in presentation, the fish is gonna strike it. Look at that! Look at that! He's chasing it! <laughs> He's chasing it! Holy oh, he broke me off! Oh, no <laughs> so be sure to do a lot of different techniques. There's not just one. You will find success if you vary it up. And finally, why do you want to fish streamers? Because they work. And a lot of times they are the big fish fly. Fish can be predatory, right? Even the smaller ones can be, but a lot of times the bigger ones are. I've caught a lot of big brown trout, a lot of big rainbow trout using streamers because they're just a big fish fly. So you want to do that. Even if you are dry fly fishing on any given day, have another setup with a streamer and you might find you might pick up a trophy sized trout by running the streamer to that same hole you caught a few fish on the dries. So there you go. That is why you want to fish streamers, and I hope this helps you a little bit the next time you're out there. Follow some of these techniques, do a little experimenting, and I'm fairly certain you'll find success using streamers. All right, everybody, and hey, if you're new to fly fishing and you need a little help with your fly fishing cast, check out this video right here. I put together an easy to understand tutorial that'll help you cast your fly rod just a little bit better. All right, everybody, till the next time, fish on.